The appearance of J-20 is undoubtedly a great leap forward for China's aviation industry. It is not only a fighter jet, but also a symbol of China's aviation technology strength. High stealth makes J-20 like a ghost in the dark night, which can easily break through the enemy's defense line and give the enemy a fatal blow. The high maneuverability of J-20 makes it as flexible as a swimming dragon and a phoenix in air combat, whether it is in close-range fighting or long-distance attack, all of which can be done with ease. What is more worth mentioning is that the supersonic cruising ability of J-20 allows it to maintain high-speed flight for a long time without opening the booster combustion chamber, and this speed advantage undoubtedly wins more initiative for it in air combat. However, when we look at the Apache, we find another shocking sight. This heavily armored airborne beast has become a nightmare for ground armor with its powerful firepower system. Thirdum guns roar like the wrath of God of Thunder, with hundreds of rounds of artillery raining down every minute, enough to reduce any ground target to smithereens. The external, Hellfire, anti-tank missiles, and 70 mm rocket launchers make it possible to accurately hit the target at a distance, destroying the entire armored cluster at once. Such firepower configuration, so that the Apache in the battlefield is an invincible god of war, invincible. So, since China already has such an advanced J 20 fighter, why has it been slow to create a strong model similar to the Apache in the field of helicopters? The reason behind this is not really simple. Firstly, the production process of helicopters is far more complex than that of fighter jets. From the selection of materials to the processing of parts, and then to the assembly and commissioning, each link requires a very high level of technology and precision requirements. The Apache's fuselage uses a large number of lightweight high-strength composite materials, which are not only lightweight and high-strength, but also need to undergo complex processing and molding processes. Although China has made remarkable progress in the processing and molding technology of such high-performance composite materials in recent years, there is still a certain gap compared with the international top level. Secondly, high-performance engine technology is also a key factor restricting the development of Chinese helicopters. The T-700 GE-701 turboshaft engine, carried by Apache, has become a superstar in the helicopter field with its high power output, low fuel consumption and excellent reliability. Although China has made some achievements in the R and D in manufacturing of high-performance turboshaft engines, there is still a gap between the engine and this engine in terms of thrust, reliability, durability and ease of maintenance. Furthermore, the powerful weapons and airborne equipment is also an important reason why the Apache can become the dominant battlefield. Equipped with the XN320E1 gun and a variety of air-to-ground weapons, it is like a fish out of water on the battlefield. Whether it is to face the ground clusters of targets or a single fortified fortification can be easily dealt with. And although China has also made many achievements in the field of aviation weaponry, it still needs to make great efforts to create a helicopter like the Apache that combines a variety of advanced weapons and airborne equipment. However, this does not mean that China has achieved nothing in the field of helicopters. In fact, after years of hard work and development, China's helicopter industry has made impressive achievements. Starting with the copying of the Soviet Union's Mi-4 helicopter, we have gradually embarked on the path of helicopter research and development. Although the process encountered many setbacks and difficulties, but with tenacity and unremitting exploration, we have finally come out of a helicopter development road of their own. In recent years, China's independent research and development of the Z10 and Strait 20 and other advanced helicopters have come out. These helicopters not only fill the blank in the field of special armed helicopters of the Chinese Army Air Corps, but also in the plateau transport, rescue and disaster relief in maritime operations and other areas to show the excellent performance. Behind these achievements are the night and day efforts of countless researchers who have watered the flowers with their wisdom and sweat dot in the future, with the continuous improvement of China's science and technology level and increased investment in research and development. We will certainly be able to overcome more technical difficulties and create more advanced helicopters with excellent performance. These helicopters will not only provide a more solid guarantee for China's national defense and security, but also show the elegance and strength of China-made helicopters in the international market.